With you, I can be sad with you. Just take my hand and fly up through the dreams where the skies are so clear. With you, I wanna stay with you. With you, I love the way that you love me today. Let's run. ako sinurpresa ng aking mister. Nagsimula kasi yun kung si Maxine nagtanong siya sa akin ng dress para sa isang event niya with her friends. Ilabas ko lahat yung mga dresses ko and nakapili naman siya pero pagdating nung mismo event hindi naman siya umalis. Naisip ko na lang baka na-cancel. Sumunod naman si Kai nagtanong siya kung ano daw yung size ko sa bra kasi pupunta sila ng Victoria's Secret. Ilang days na, pero hindi pa rin dumarating yung bra. Naisip ko naman, baka busy lang sila. Okay. Ito na. Merong event ng Sunday with our friends here. Ang attire is kailangan naka-white dress. Wala kasi akong white dress. Meron ako black and white. So, dun sa group chat, nag-comment si Elvis na okay lang ba na white yung pangitaas tapos may black. May nag-offer naman, papahiram na damit. Ah, okay. At least, hindi na ako gagastos. Merong supot na bumaba sa akin. Isang short dress, long dress, saka may pants na white. Pinay ko, merong isa yung long. Sabi ko pa, ano to pang kasal? Yung short dress, ayun, okay. Noong Saturday, may facial massage session. Afterwards, meron din shopping. Yung isa sa kasama namin, si Dolor, meron siyang pinakitang dress. Sabi niya, uy, mas maganda to kaysa nung sa mga ibang dress. Sabi ko, oh, maganda nga. Pinawa ko na, eh, mura rin naman. Goodbye. Noong Saturday night, nagtanong si Mama, sabi niya, kasama ba ako dyan sa event na yan? Walang sumasagot. Ay, hindi alam ni Mama. Noong linggo, ayun, meron akong tinapos na niluto. Pinalikong ko ni mga bata. Si Elvis yung, si Elvis yung plansya. Siya nag-busy to sa mga bata para maka-makeup ako. So, habang na may makeup ako, dumating si Josh. Anong kailangan ko ng tulong? Sabi ko lang kasi wala akong lipstick. Yun, binigyan niya ako ng lipstick. Napansin ko lang, habang nag-makeup ako, nakaputi siya. Pero nakamaong pads. Sabi ko, kala ko ba nakadress? Sabi niya, hindi ito na ako magpapalit. Ah, okay. 
pagdating namin sa simbahan, sa rada yung pintuan, si Elvis hindi siya makapasok nung sa likod. Sabi naman ni Mama, try mo nga anak ko, trinay kong i-open yung door, bukas naman. Pero si Elvis. Pagpasok namin, ang unang hinahat yung mga kasama namin. Pero kahit saan ako tumingin, wala. Sabi ko, naku, tama ba itong pinuntahan namin? Bakit wala yung mga kasama namin? Katapos dumating na sila kay, sila Archie. So sabi ko, ah, ayan, may kasama na kami. Pero napansin ko, si Kai, naka-white, pero naka-pants siyang white. Sabi ko, ah, pwede naman palang white pants. Tapos si Maxine, ah, nakadress naman si Maxine. So sabi ko, at saka si Margo, nakadress din. Pero napansin ko sila, Dada, si Archie, at saka si Joel, semi-formal. So, naka Nakasuit sila pero naka, parang naka-polo shirt, walang necktie. Si LV, si Axel, at saka si Daniel. Talagang nakasuit, naka-necktie. So sabi ko, hindi pa kami overdressed dito. Parang ako nakatakong pa ako, parang formal-formalan. Pero di pa rin ako mapakali kasi wala pa rin yung mga iba namin kasama. So ang isa lang kasama namin aside sa family nila, Kaya at ni Archie. Gosh, pero yung iba, wala naman. So natapos na yung misa. Narinig ko si Kai dito sabi niya, nang tagal naman nila, nila dulo. Si Elvis, bago ko pa siya makausap, sabi niya, si CR daw muna sila. Sinama niya yung dalawang ba. Bago ko pa sabihin na, ay tutulungan ko sana siya, sabi niya, wala na eh, bumilis na, wala bigla. Tapos lumapit sa akin si Josh, sabi niya, ate magsuklay ka, bigyan ko ng sukulay. So, ayun, nagsuklay ako kasi yung electric fan sa simbahan, medyo malakas. Ako, nag-aayos ako ng buko, yan, ang baby. Mamaya nakita ko, parating na si Elvis kasama yung dalawang bata na para silang nakaparada. Eh, wala akong dalang salamin. So, hindi ko actually nakikita kung ang napansin ko lang, mayroon parang nakasabit kay Axel sa kay Daniel. Pagpasok nila at paglapit nila, ayun na. Balik ka ya. Balik ka ya. Reaction. So, pagdating, nakita ko, ay, will you marry me again? So, pagtingin ko kay Elvis, medyo mumugto-mugto yung eyes niya. So, syempre, nakakahawa yun. Medyo may iyak-iyak yung kausap mo, diba? And, syempre, anong sagot ko, diba? <coughs> Siyempre, sagot ko, of course. Siyempre. Tama pala yung shirt na binili sa akin, siyempre. Dat pala yung sagot ko, siyempre. So, instead of giving me a ring, siyempre, inihingi niya yung ring niya. Oh, eh, hindi, bless kasi ni Father. So, binigay niya yung bulaklak. Yung bulaklak is so nice kasi it looks like my old flower bukid na sala ko. Orange and it's so pretty. It's tulips. So, doon nangyari ang istorya. Before pa kaming magpakasal, nung mag-boyfriend pa lang kami, siguro mga 27 years old kami, sa isang inuman session namin, dalawa. Napanggit niya sa akin na gusto niya daw magpakasal ng 30 years old. So, ako noon, nung, nung time na yun, paisip ako kasi mas older ako sa kanya ng one year. One year lang naman. Wala pa nga, months lang pala. And, 
sabi niya, 30 years old. Naku, di pang nag-anak ako, 31 ako, di pa 32. Ganun pala kung magkakaanak nung time na yun. Pero, ang na-realize ko, kahit 60 years old, 70 years old niya pa akong yayain, basta siya lang, yun ang nasa isip ko. So, at least, happy anniversary. Hindi ko alam kung anong gigift ko sa'yo kasi wala akong datong. Hingin ko rin sa'yo yung... <laughs> oh. Pero, kidding aside, what I can offer is or the best gift I can give you. Because I'm thinking... Kung yumaman tayo, I can give you a car, a house, a, a farm, a resort, whatever it is. Pero, I think the best gift that I can give you is spending my time with you until the end of my days. So... Thank you and I love you. It does not seek its own interests. It is not quick-tempered. It does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. The word of the Lord. Mm. This is one of the more popular uh, scripture readings for marriage celebrations. Mm -hmm. You've probably seen it put on posters and all kinds of banners. Mm -hmm. It's very nice to hear, uh, but as is true of all scripture, it is not the word of God is not just to be heard, but it is to be lived. So my hope is that you know, what has helped you endure through these years is your ability, as it says right there, to be kind, to be patient, huh? not to be jealous, not to be rude, not to be inflated. Huh? Because this is what is what love is and it is what binds a marriage together. And today we pray that you will continue to face the years ahead of you in the same way so that you may continue to be a good model for the rest of us of what we call the sacrament of marriage, the tangible reminder of how God loves us. And as much as you are able to love and care for each other, we are reminded of the love and care that God has for us. And as much as you are able to be patient and forgive one another, uh, that is a reminder of how patient and forgiving God is to us. So that is what a sacrament does. It reminds us of God's care and peace. Dear friends, Elvis and Abby, on the anniversary of that celebration at which you joined your lives in an unbreakable bond through the sacrament of matrimony, you now intend to renew before the Lord the promises you made to one another. But you now turn, turn to the Lord in prayer that these vows may be strengthened by divine grace. I, Elvis, I, Elvis, have taken you, <laughs> taken you, Abby, to be and take you again. Take you again to be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you. To love you and to honor you. To honor you all the days of my life. All the days of my life. Abby, look at this nice. I Abby. Hi Abby. I have taken you, Elvis. I have taken you, Elvis. And take you again. And take you again. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you. To love you. And to honor you. To honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. You have renewed your consent before the church. May the Lord in His kindness strengthen the consent you have declared before the church and graciously bring to fulfillment His blessings within you. What God has joined, no one must divide. Amen. Amen.
Increase and sanctify, Lord, the love of your servants, Elvis and Abby, who once gave each other these things as a sign of faithfulness, that they may always grow in the grace of the sacrament, through Christ our Lord. Amen. the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Let us give thank peace, let us love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Congratulations. Yay. I present to you again, 11 years later, Elvis and Abby, husband and wife. Woo. Baby, I kiss <laughs> <laughs> Picture with father. Picture with father. Go, 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 go,
I can't be sad with you. Just take my hand and fly up to the top where the skies are so clear. With you, I wanna stay with you. I wanna stay with you. I wanna stay with you. Tapos na ba? Tapos na. Tapos na yun. Okay. <laughs>